The time to complete an exam is approximately normal with a mean of 37 minutes and a standard deviation of 2.1 minutes. The bell curve represents the distribution for testing times. The scale on the horizontal axis is equal to the standard deviation. Fill in the indicated boxes, then answer the questions on the next page. Let's begin with the mean or mu, which is in the center of the distribution. And because sigma, or the standard deviation, is 2.1, mu plus sigma is equal to 37 plus 2.1, which is 39.1. Continuing right, mu plus two sigma is equal to 39.1 plus 2.1, which is 41.2. And mu plus three sigma is equal to 41.2 plus 2.1, which is 43.3. And now to the left of the mean, mu minus sigma is equal to 37 minus 2.1, which is 34.9. Mu minus two sigma is equal to 34.9 minus 2.1, which is 32.8. And mu minus three sigma is equal to 32.8 minus 2.1, which is 30.7. And now let's continue on the next slide. We're asked to use the empirical rule to complete the following statements. 68% of the testing times were between what times? The empirical rule tells us approximately 68% of the data falls plus or minus one standard deviations from the mean, which for our data is from 34.9 to 39.1. Approximately 68% of the testing times fall between 34.9 minutes and 39.1 minutes. Next, 95% of the testing times were between what times? Approximately 95% of the data falls plus or minus two standard deviations from the mean, which for our data is from 32.8 to 41.2 minutes. This interval contains approximately 95% of the testing times. So again, the times are 32.8 minutes to 41.2 minutes. For the third statement, 99.7% of the testing times were between what times? The empirical rule states that approximately 99.7% of the data falls plus or minus three standard deviations from the mean, which in our case is from 30.7 to 43.3. 99.7% of the testing times fall between these testing times, which again are from 30.7 minutes to 43.3 minutes. The last statement, 50% of the testing times are below how many minutes? Remember for a normal distribution, the mean, median, and mode are all at the center of the distribution, which is here, the testing time is 37 minutes. Where 50% of the testing times are below 37 minutes, and 50% of the testing times are above 37 minutes. And therefore we have 37 minutes for this last statement. I hope you found this helpful.